So we're Youth Speak Collective. We're a youth development nonprofit based here in Pacoima. We believe that the youth should have a voice in the programs that are being offered to them. The reason I volunteer for Youth Speak Collective is because they're an organization that is driven by their mission. Their mission being um, it's an organization for youth by youth. Pacoima is, is, a, is a really interesting neighborhood because a lot of people don't know it's still in L.A. Uh, it's a low-income neighborhood. People often forget about it, um, but there's so much great things here. Uh, one of the great things is the youth, um, and what I appreciate so much about Youth Speak Collective is that uh, they give so much power to the youth, they really lift them up. We have three different types of programs, creative expression, youth empowerment, and academic support programs. So really, anything that'll keep the kids out of trouble, um, help them graduate high school, and help them go on to college. Youth Speak offers a lot of programs and like there's a lot of what I'm aware of like um, educational field trips and they have tutoring programs for math and English and KC prep and stuff like that for the people that didn't pass their KC. And one of the programs that I've been in is like the college courses. There's a lot of um, online courses and they help you if you have any questions. They're right there and you can just ask. Um, it's pretty cool. Well today uh, next door we have a uh, college application day where Youth Speak and Discovery Prep have integrated in order to help us apply for colleges. And it's pretty helpful because you know we have a lot of students don't have computers or internet at home. And we have our counselor here, so it's really helping us, you know, to apply. I already applied to like five schools. I really, really have gotten, you know, more mature mentally, just you know, seeing different people come and tell their stories and you know, different things that happen, you know, at the youth council meetings just really has opened my mind, you know, to actually see what's really going on. Project Youth Green was started, um, actually, the idea came from youth in our community that they wanted a space where they can uh, grow organic fruits and vegetables and also just have a space where they can express themselves, you know, just a space where they can do different activities. Like now we have a beautiful four acre space or a two acre set just for uh, growing organic fruits and vegetables and the rest is more of an activity learning center for you. What I do with Youth Speak is that I bring awareness as far as what it is that a mural does for its community. I teach the students to go out there and find permission for walls where they can paint their murals instead of doing it illegally and getting in trouble for it. Filmmaking is just a, uh, it's just a hobby of mine. It's just something very uh, wonderful that I get to do. It's just something I have a blast doing. It teaches respect because we have different sides, like Humphrey and San Fernando Gardens. There's different like rival kind of gangs type of thing. Like on a regular basis, these kids would not talk to each other. Like they wouldn't even like say hi to each other. But because of the sport of soccer, because of football in Tupacoima, the faces are familiar. So there's less animosity, and less conflict between them because they already know each other. Doesn't matter uh, what you look like, doesn't matter your background in the field, you're someone else and when you play it's you know you you feel part of something and it's the that's the whole that's the whole point. I joined it because I wanted to do something in my life. I wanted to achieve something and it's great it's been a great impact on me. This Saturday I went to a child event and I volunteered there and it was it was magnificent. I loved it. It's a great program. You speak is actually I, I think it's one of the best things there is in the community. You know, out of all these things that are happening around Pacoima, um, everything that's negative, you could say, you know, you speak it's that positive, you know, light in the cave, you know, that you actually see it's the hope, you know. <laughs> 